everyone, my name is Miss Kerry. For those of you that don't know me, I'm a classical ballet instructor who teaches children and adults of all ages and abilities. I'm here today at home in my kitchen and dining room to teach you a ballet class specifically designed for children that have had a little ballet experience for ages seven to 10 approximately. Of course, you're welcome to try it at home and have fun with it, okay? I do also have um, a couple beginning ballet videos and a stretching video that is really important to make sure that you stretch before and after the, at least the ballet bar that I'm gonna do right now. Okay, so we're gonna get started. First, we're gonna start with our feet in a clean first position, okay? Making sure that the knees are really pulled up and our tummy muscles are lifted and engaged. Our tailbone, that's at the very end of our spine, is down, pushed down, not tucked under, but pushed down. We're squeezing the sides of our glutes, okay? As I like to say to my students, our shish kebab sticks, okay? I know it sounds kind of silly, but it helps us to engage the sides of our glutes to really start our rotation from our hips. That way from our hips all the way down to our toes, we're turned out, okay? So we'll keep, I'll keep giving you reminders about that. Okay, so we're gonna get started. If you have a kitchen table that's safe or a chair, my chairs are a little too short here. So I'm gonna use my kitchen counter, but just make sure you ask permission before you, using, before you use the counter. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Feet in a clean first position again. Tummy muscles zipped up, tailbone shooting down to the floor, and big, big arms, okay? Don't let your elbows get behind you. Thumbs are tucked. I could go on and on about corrections before we even begin. Just make sure you're nice and strong. Check, check, check. All right, here we go. I'm gonna get the music. We're gonna start with our plies, okay? For those of you that have had ballet, you know plie means to bend. So we're really gonna find deep plies. Make sure that your demi-plies, your heels stay glued to the ground and those knees press out to your sides, okay? Grand plie, in most positions, our heels do come off, but we don't sit in our positions. All right, here we go. Tall, tall, tall. Clean first, not too overturned out. You always wanna make sure you're in a natural first position with 10 toes on the ground. Spread them out like starfish. Preparation with the arms. Demi plie. I'm gonna show it with my arm, but you're welcome to keep your arm in second. Demi plie. And stretch. Again, deep plie. Push, knees apart. And stretch. Very nice. Tall, tall, tall. We're gonna do an elevate, rise. Find your balance, let go. Tummy up. Good, and slowly lower. Take the bar, heels coming forward. Hand on your hip. We're going to do our grand plie nice and slow. Four counts to go down. Two, three. Heels start to peel off. Find your grand. Slowly coming up. Seven. Stretch on eight. Very good. Pour to breath. Carriage of the arms. High fifth. Big breath up. We're going to pour to core forward. All right. Find your flat tabletop back. Coming up. Breath with the arm. Good, feel that spine lengthening. Tandu, transfer to second. Same thing in second, our knees are to the side. Nice wide second position. Push, demi plie. Six, seven, tall, elevé. Rise to your high dummy point. You can let go of the bar, trust yourself. Strong grounded arms. Slowly lower with the heels forward. Nice, knees pulled up. You can lightly take the bar if you'd like. Reaching out, don't move your hips, just your upper body. Vertebra into the bar, big breath up and in. Reach, follow your fingertips. Keep the arm in front of your body, reaching up, two, open, rounded arm. Elbow lifted, make sure you have a lot of energy in that elbow. Six, we're gonna transfer, round and jump, circle of the leg. Now we're in fourth position, plie deep. And stretch. Keep checking the hand, make sure it's nice and light. 10 toes on the ground. And stretch. Elevate, we're gonna rise to our high dummy point. 
Good, let go, tall, hips are square, shoulders square. Slowly lower with the heels forward. Good, okay, we're gonna try a grand plie here, hand on our hip, knees to the side. Two, grand is a little tricky in four. Four, don't sit, coming back up. Six, slowly stretch on eight. We're gonna put her away. Two, over three, four, keep reaching, coming up. Breath of the arm, arms meet to first, open a second, transfer to fifth. Very good, down me across. Two, stretch for two. Down, six, seven, eight. Elevate, we're gonna keep our feet in fifth position. Two, find it. Tummy, tummy. And slowly lower with the heels forward. And hand on your hip. We're gonna do our grand plie. Knees going side like blinking lights. Blink, blink, blink. Two, three, tall. Make sure you're not sinking. Coming up slowly, four counts. Six, heels get glued. Seven, stretch on eight. Very good. We're gonna try a calm right back. Turn your head to the side, take a big breath. Make sure you like your fifth position. And little calm right back. Shoulders stay even, come up. Head faces forward. Shall we balance? We're gonna rise to susu. Our front foot slides to our back foot, so our back foot doesn't move other than staying turned out. Slide your front foot, susu, under, over, super tight, tailbone down. Tummy muscles lifted. Squeeze your ankles, balance. Arms to first, super strong across from your chest bone. Good, can you bring your arms to high fist? Squeeze, shoulders down. Arms stay in front of your body, keep checking. Six, good, it's okay if you wobble. It's all part of it. Keep practicing, whoop. Two, stay. Three, four, you're gonna slowly lower straight knees. So you're gonna open your front foot just slightly to give enough space for the heels to come forward. Find your fifth position. Knees are pulled up. Good, stretch, heel forward. Close back to first, breath, and finish. Tall, 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 and finish. Feel really good how you finish and start. Good. Okay, great. The next exercise we're gonna do are our tendus. And I forgot to say, if you wanna turn and do the plies to the other side or do your inside leg, you can. But plies, we kind of worked both legs. So we're gonna move on to tendus, but definitely for tendus, we're gonna do both legs, okay? All right, so feet in a clean first position again. Arms are strong. We're gonna start with the music, seven, eight and we are going to do tendu devant to the front. Front, stay, two, stay, three, close, four, out, five, lifting as you close, out, seven, we're gonna close with the plie, okay? Just the last one. Same thing side, and a two, and a three, close on four, working through your foot, and a six, remember the last one? Seven, we close with a plie, eight, okay? We're gonna do the same thing to the back, and same thing side, so that makes it an enqua combination, front side, back side, okay? Then we'll transfer to fifth position, and we'll do the whole thing in fifth, okay? I'm gonna show it with my arm, okay? But if you're not quite ready to add both, that's totally fine. Put your hand in second or a hand on your hip, okay? Focus on those legs. Okay, so when we do it in fifth position, we have to think about our closing. So we're doing three total, to the front, okay, in a row. So three is an odd number. So odd numbers have to close opposite, right? So the opposite of front, after we go front, is back. So when we go side, the first time, two, three, close forward, we're gonna close back, close opposite of where we were. Out, close front, and then the last one, we close with the plie to the back. Make sure you always pass through your first to hit your fifth, and then stretch, okay? Keep everything even, Steven. Hips, shoulders, okay? Keep those arms in front of your body. Very good. All right, so here we go. 
I'm gonna do my outside leg, the whole thing in first and fifth, and then I'll do my inside leg, okay? I'm gonna stay facing you for this one. Okay, here we go. Time to super long legs. Six, preparation seven, open eight, lightly take the bar. And we go, Tandu Devant, stay. Two, keep pulling those toes, no weight on your foot. Close on four, really brush with the heel. Heel leads you out, and six, out seven, we close with the plie on eight. Two, three, side. Massaging the floor, two, three, we close on four, out on five, and six, keeping that heel really forward. Don't let it turn backwards, okay? To the back, oh, close with the plie, back, two, three, and four. You're gonna catch all my mistakes, right? And six, it's okay if you make mistakes. Seven, that's how we get stronger. Eight, same thing, side. And two, remember the last one, we're gonna close to fifth, okay? And four, out on five. Make sure you don't have a lot of weight in your inside hip, okay? Seven, let's close to fifth. Fifth, here we go. Now we'll do it in fifth. I'm adding the arm. You don't have to do the arm yet. Two, three, toes feel you back and forth. Make sure you're crossing your fifth. Five and six. You want to hide your back foot. Seven and eight. Let your hips do the turn out. Side, two. Remember, we're closing opposite. Three, close back through your first and six. First, close back, arabesque, cross that leg, two, keep reaching, three, and four, push, five. It's like you have honey on the bottom of your feet, you want to brush all the honey off by the time the combo's over. Side, two, tall, three, close front, so we're closing opposite of where we just were. Side, back. Side. Really try to pass through your first. Plie. Stretch. Then the arms go down. Pulling up. Nice. Good job. Shake it out. All right. Now we're going to do our inside leg. Here we go. You can do it. Shake it out. Breathe. Take a sip of water if you need to. Sometimes plies and tanjus are the hardest part of class, just getting started, okay? So you're doing great. Here we go. Breath. Remember, I'm doing my inside leg now, the same thing, okay? You can always turn your body and face the other side if you want. Tandu Devant. Stay. Two, make sure there's not a lot of weight on your standing leg, okay? Four, pulling out. Six. And seven, even if you have a lot of experience, this is still really good practice for us all. Two, three, I know it's hard for me. Four, shoulder square, five, six, and seven, plie, eight, to the back, arabesque, make sure it's crossed behind you, don't let it stick out. Two, three, close on four, out. Five and six. Keep that knee rotated to the side. Don't let it turn down. Plie. Same thing side. Push. Two. Three. Close on four. Same thing side. And six. Now we're going to close to fifth. Plie. And we go to the front. So if I didn't have a bar. Two. And four. Let's see if I can do it without the bar. Brush. I'm going to squeeze my tummy really strong. Six. And squeeze my glutes. Keep squeezing. Shoulders down. Plie. Side. Reach. Two. Remember, we have to close back. Three. Close back. Out. Five. Plie. Six. Seven. Now we plie. Sorry. To the back. Back. We got an extra plie. Two, three, close 
time four. Ah, keep pulling your toes. Your toes should feel like they're never ending, reaching. Reach till you have to come in. Same thing, side. Remember, we're closing front, so we're closing opposite. Front, out, five, really heel forward. Present your heels straight. Plie. We're in fifth, cross your front foot, deep plie, stretch, finish. Yay! Awesome, okay, shake it out. I know, I need to shake it out. And take a sip of my water. Okay, great. So now we're going to speed it up a little bit and do some quick degages, okay? So remember, degage means to disengage. So we really have to make it look like we're shooting something really fast. Maybe like one of those tennis ball machines that shoot out the tennis balls really fast. That's how it should feel. Shh, Pippa. That's my dog. Sorry, Pippa gets kind of loud. Come on, Pippa. Pippa, come here. You have to be quiet, okay? Can you be quiet? I love you. Be quiet, okay? Here, come lay down. If she's in here, she'll be quiet. Lay down. Okay. All right, so we're going to start with our degagees. Go ahead and lay down, sweetie. Pippa really likes ballet, as you can see. Okay, so we're going to do it in first, and then we'll repeat it in fifth, okay? So let's go ahead. I'm going to show it to you really quick. Five and a six and seven. Take the bar eight. So let's do... Tondu, one and a two, degage and a four, okay? So see the difference. Remember, tondu means to stretch and degage means to disengage. So I have to see the difference. Remember, we only, with a degage, go off the floor about two inches at the most, okay? So keep it really low to the ground, okay? So again, tondu devant, one and two, degage, three and four, pulling. Five and six, degage seven and eight. Same thing, side and did two, degage reach and a four. Time to five, no weight on that foot, degage and an eight. Same thing back, okay? And then we're gonna do something different. Instead of going side, like we just did, we're gonna go degage, plie two, we're gonna releve, stay, balance, heels forward, three, and a four, and a five. Lower with the heels forward, and we'll tondu seven, and we'll close to fifth, eight, and we'll repeat the whole thing in fifth position, okay? So remember, four is an even number now, so when we go side, we're gonna close where we just were. So we just went to the front, degage, tondu, degage. When we go side, we have to close front the first time. Then we get to start changing, tondu. Degage, okay, so we end up to the back, okay? But I'll help you. All right, here we go. Arms, arms, arms. A little faster. The song is called It's My Party, so we should pretend like it's our party today. Here we go. Breath, time to, we go. Sharp, two, degage, push, four, five, get back to that first, seven, eight, same thing, side. Keep pulling up and out of your body. We want to sink, but we're not letting our body do that. We have to fight our body from letting us sink into the ground. Four, rush, six, degage, different side. We go out, plie, releve, rise, lower, tendu, close to fifth. Out, two, degage, four, at the arm, six. Side. Oh, I forgot we close front. Tandu. My dog is distracting me. To the back. Tandu. Two. Take a shake. Four. Cross the leg. Six. Seven. Different side. Here we go. Side. Plie. Releve. Balance. Lower straight. Good. Close to fifth. Let's do a couple elevates, okay? And then relevates when we add our plie. Strong hand on your hip or arm in second. We go up, lower straight. Light hand on the bar. Three, 
four. So notice I'm just rising up, I'm not moving my feet. Six, I'm getting those heels to come forward. Seven, eight, I don't wanna slam on my toes, plie. Now I'm gonna come with my feet together, okay? For releve, both feet come together. Here we go, plie, releve, two, slide, three, slide both feet, four, slide, five, so you have to release your feet. Release as you come down. Seven. Last one. We're going to stay in balance. Toes face out to your side. Hands on your hips. Tummy, tummy. Good. Balance. You can do it. Lightly take the bar. Release your front foot. Lower straight. And you're done with that side. Shake it out. Good job. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna face the other way for my second side, okay? I'm still with you, but I wanna face the other side to show you how we use our outside leg, okay? Okay. I'm still watching you, even though I'm facing the other side. Okay, here we go, it's my party. Let's have fun, here we go. Burn first, open to second, here we go. Tendu, two, three, three, four, sharp. Dengue shake, seven, Eight, same thing side. Dégage. Tendu. Dégage. To the back. Arabesque. Cross. Two. Dégage. Tendu. Dégage. Dégage out. Stay. Plié. Relevé. Balance. Lower straight. Transfer to fifth. We go. Front. Two. Dégage. Same thing, side. Side, close, front, to the back. Again, I messed it up. Seven, but we're going to keep going. To the back. Tanu. Two. Take a shake. Four. Hit that fifth. Keep pulling up. Seven, eight. Last one, side. Plie. Releve. Let go. Trust yourself. Lower. Tendu, we're going to close to fifth position. We're going to do our elevates. You're not going to move your feet. Ready? Here we go. One, two, knees are pulled up. Three, four, or hand on your hip. Five, six, heels forward. Seven, eight, then we're going to releve. Plie, both feet. Susan, down. that we're going to practice are our rond de jambes. As a reminder, rond de jambes means circle of the leg. So we'll do a couple en de or and en de da. Okay? So I think you're just going to follow along with me with the music for this one. I'm not going to really give you an intro for it. Okay? Just listen to the music. Feel it. Enjoy it. Okay? So we'll start with our outside leg and then I'll turn and do the other side. We'll repeat the whole thing. Okay? All right. Here we go. Preparation with the arms, nice and big. Arms to first, open to second, lightly take the bar. Tandu divine. Two, side three, and four. Back reach, six, hold seven, and eight. Then we go quick, front, side, back, front, side, back, front, side, Back, close to fifth, reverse to the back. Back, two, side three, and four. Front, five, six. I really want you to find it. Keep reaching. Eight, to the back. Back, around two, through first, three, and four. Ten toes on the ground as you pass through your first. 
close to fifth, we're gonna do our pour de bras. Coming up to high fifth. Two, find your flat back, slide that hand with you. Then we're gonna drop our head all the way down. Okay, you can plie if you'd like. And slowly stretch, try to get your body a little closer. Come up through your flat back, lengthening your spine. Coming up, slide that hand back with you on the bar. Breath, keep pulling up your knees. Pour right into the bar. Reach. Two. Over. Follow your fingertips. Coming up. Breath with the arm. Place it in second. Away. Two. Over. Four. Slowly coming up. Bring the arms to first. Very good. Open the arms. We're going to balance in our sur la coup de pied. So we're going to find our demi point, pressing that knee over your toes. We're going to wrap sur la coup de pied around the neck of the foot. So if you can see from the side angle, my toes are behind and my heel is forward. Tall. We're going to balance here. Four more counts. One. Keep pulling up. Two. Three. Feel like your body is weightless. Pull, pull, pull like a string is pulling you up. Slide, passe to the front of your knee. Balance with the knee out to the side. Stay here. Try to find it. Let go. We're balancing on flat. Good. And let's go ahead and carry the leg behind us. Cross the knee behind. Your leg doesn't have to be high. Okay. Keep the leg behind you. Cross, cross, cross. Keep your back nice and flat. Pretend like you have a wall in front of your body. Lift, touch, close to first position. It's great. Stretch and watch. Lovely job. Clap for yourself. That was so good. Okay, here we go. We're going to do the second side. So I'm going to face the other way, okay? Stay with me. Big, long lines for a round of shot. Remember that, okay? Now we feel like we're actually getting to dance a little bit more, right? Preparation arms to first, open a second. I'm gonna tendu to the front, come on. Stay, two, side, three, and four, arabesque, five, six, fold, seven, and eight. Now we go quick, front, around, two, through, first, three, and four. Check your hand in second, check your hand on the bar. Stay, close back. Eight, two, three, reverse. Back, two, long legs, no weight on that foot. Heel rotates forward. Front, check the hips. Make sure you're lifting up out of your hips the whole time. Seven, eight, two, three. Back, around, two, through, first, three. And four, back, close to first, and we'll pour it around forward. Bring the arm to high fifth, big breath up, forward, slide your hand with you. Find your flat back, head drops, head all the way down. Hello over there. Coming up, you can play if you like, get closer, come up, bring your flat back. Two. Not sitting in your hips. And pour to in. Over. So your hips don't move, okay? Away. Carry the arms to first. Now we're going to find our sur la coup de pied. You can always put your hands on your hips if you'd like. Demi. And wrap, toes are behind. You can see my toes, my heel is forward in front of my ankle. Tall, you can let go of the bar, put your arms in first. Keep lifting up out of your hips, pull, pull, pull up. Slide to passe to the front of your knee. Don't sit, keep pulling up, use your string. Pretend like you're a puppet. Tall, tall, tall. We're gonna lift the leg behind us to arabesque. I'm just turning so you can see a little bit better. Back is flat. Toes, toes, toes. Knees are stretched. Touch. Close to fifth. Arms to second. And finish. Or you can close to first since 
that's how we finish on the other side. Good. Okay. Great job. Okay. So the next exercise we're going to do are our fondues, okay? So fondue means to melt. I don't typically start teaching fondue until a little bit older than seven, eight. So usually it depends on the level, um, but usually more so nine or 10. So just keep that in mind. The coordination takes some time, but you're at home, let's try it, okay? It's one of my favorite exercises to do at the bar because I love melting cheese and chocolate. That's what I like to think about because that's what it means. Fondue means to melt, okay? So I'm not making this up, but um, it takes some time because you want to straighten both legs at the same time, okay? So it takes a little while to learn how to do it. So let's try it today. I'm just looking for good music. I think this will work. We need some dramatic music for this, okay? So we're gonna start in fifth position and then you always are gonna prepare with the music, okay? So you're gonna go five and six, it's a little bit different. Seven, we're gonna tondu out on eight, okay? From here, you can either put your hand on your hip, like I said before, for any of these exercises or keep your arm in second, okay? All right. So um, when we fondue, we bend both knees at the same time, you find your coup de pied to the front. You don't want your heel to be resting on your leg or your ankle at all, okay? So just make sure it's just your first two toes, okay? Not even your pinky toe, because that's called the sickled foot, right? It kind of looks like a melted popsicle, right? That's, that's what it sounds like for me. Again, food, right? I always like to talk about food with my analogies. Um, so just your first two toes are touching deep in your plie, and then as you extend, both legs straighten at the same time, so you arrive with stretched knees, okay? So um, let's do four en croix. So remember, en croix means to cross, so you go front, side, back, side, okay? And then maybe I'll add something in between before we do the other side, okay? Also, to get to the, the other side, we're gonna try our soutenu. So we're gonna rise at the end of the combination. We're gonna rise to our su. So remember your front foot slides to your back foot. And then as you turn, you always wanna turn typically into the bar, okay? And your back foot picks up, it hovers, and then you switch and that becomes your front foot, okay? So watch again, I'll turn and face you now again. My back foot picks up, it stays under, so you can hardly see, it's so fast. And then my front foot, my back foot became my front foot, okay? So we'll try that suit to new. I'll show it one more time. I turn, and then I'm gonna lower straight, remember to lower straight, and then I transfer tendue side on eight before we do our fondues to the other side, okay? All right, so here we go. Deep plies, and think about all of that yummy, cheese and chocolate that we can eat after this. That sounds good. Okay, here we go. Preparation. Tall tummy zipped. Tandu on eight. Two, three. Fondue deep. Two, I'm putting my hand on my hip or you can keep your arm in second. And stretch four times. Down deep. Six, out seven. Stretch eight, keep working on that coordination. Both knees bend at the same time. And both knees stretch. Good. One more, deep. And stretch, good. Same thing, side, down, deep, and stretch. Both legs arrive at the same time. Down, let's keep our coup de pieds to the front. Until we're ready to go to the back. Two, you have to keep counting with me. Down, deep. Plie, plie, even deeper than you think you need to. Make sure your heels stay glued. Don't let your, your standing leg pop, okay? And stretch. But don't let your body fall forward. Remember your wall. Tall, now we go to the back. So just the heel touches to the back. And stretch. Don't let your toes touch, okay? Two, 
and stretch. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure you're smiling. Leah. with the leg going devant to the front. This one's hard. Let go. Hips are square. Nice. Touch. Close to pass. And finish. Good way to finish. Awesome. Second side. Stay with me. We're almost done with the bar. All of our hard work first before we get to come to the center and have fun, right? Here we go. That's part of being a ballerina, isn't it? Six, you can do it. Seven from fifth. Tandu side on eight. Hand on your hip or arm in second. Plie. Two, just your toes touch. Remember, no popsicles, no sickled popsicles. Deep. Plie. Push. Hip square. Down, down, down. One more to the front, Devant. Remember what I told you. This is a little bit trickier, okay? So don't feel defeated if you're like, I can't do this one right now, Miss Carrie. It's okay, just try your best. And stretch. Like I said, I don't typically teach this until you're a little bit older. But why not try it, right? We're building up our muscles. We're building up our coordination skills. Six. Out. Eight. Back. Just your heel touches. Two. Light hand on the bar. Stretch. Both legs arrive at the same time. Both legs extend at the same time. Get that oxygen flowing through your body. Same thing side, you're almost done. Don't stop. Down. Deep. And stretch. Stay. The back. Side. 
Um, let's do, let's do three batmas and one saute, okay? All right, so just follow along. We'll have some fun. Here we go. Big brushes, five, six. Here we go. Brush, batma. Touch, fit. So we're starting from first. Touch, fit. Find your tendu and plie. One saute. You can put your hand under your hip if you want. Push. Toe ball heel. Working your foot. Side. Now side is a little tricky. You want to make sure that your knee stays facing up, okay? Don't let your knee turn down. Knee up the whole time. Stretch. Plie deep. One saute. Heel ball toe. Toe ball heel to the back. Brush. Touch. Just making sure I don't hit. Two. Touch. Three. Plie. So tight. Good. Side. One more time. On quad, remember? Two. Keeping everything square. Keeping your hand under hip will also keep everything nice and square. Plie deep. So tight. Good. Finish. Great job. Let's do the other side. Oh, we have to suit to know. I forgot to do that before. Let's try it. See, I knew I forgot something. So, outside leg, we rise. Front foot slides to our back foot. Try that one more time. Sue, sue. Okay, ready to suit to do? We face the other side. Our back foot picks up and it becomes our front foot. Go. Turn. How did it go? Let's try it again. Ready? Here we go. Back foot picks up. Turn. Suit to do. Sharp. Release your front foot. Lower. Straight. Tendu. Sharp toes close to first. Okay? Let's do the other side. Are you ready? Here we go. Feet, feet, feet. Preparation. Seven, eight. We go. Batma. Touch. Pulling up your knees. Two. Three. Hand on your hip, plie, saute. Working through your toes when you jump. Toe ball, heel. Hips are square. Plie, one saute. You can let go of the bar or hold on to the bar and push a little bit to the back. I'm gonna turn so you can see me a little bit better. Arabesque. Two. Three. So tight. Strong hand on your hip. Same thing side. To your alisa cone. Keep that heel forward. Don't let that knee drop. Plie. So tight. Ready to swing to new? Front foot slides to your back foot. And we turn to the other side. Ready? Here we go. On the count of three. One, two, three. Suit to new. Release. And finish. Make sure your fifth is nice and clean. And we're done with the bar. At home, make sure you do your splits, okay? And then we'll get started in the center, okay? All right, so the first thing we're going to do in the center are some tendus and portabra arms to make sure that we really find our center without touching the bar now. It's gonna feel a little bit different, maybe a little bit wobbly, okay? So just do your best, make sure you stay in line with your whole body, okay? Keep those hips and shoulders square. I know I say it a lot, but it's really a big part of your ballet placement, okay? And it will help you. If you start picking up your leg really high and your hips are not square and you're not using the correct muscles, then over time, you're gonna end up building the wrong muscles and have to kind of start over a little bit, okay, with some of your positions. So it's really important, keep everything square. Even if your legs have to be lower for now, that is totally fine, okay? Okay, so we'll start in fifth position and we're gonna do four tendus traveling back. So we're gonna go five and six and seven. Open the arms, eight. Make sure that your palms 
are facing towards your audience, towards your front, towards me today, and your elbows are lifted, okay? So I don't wanna see any droopy elbows, okay? Strong, strong, strong. Okay, so we do four tendus traveling back. One, make sure that knee is turned out up to the ceiling and the heel forward. Don't do this, please. Okay, heel, heel, heel forward. So we pass through our first. We do that four times. Two, three, and four. Very good. Then we're going to do a pour de bras. Low fifth, five. First on six. High fifth, seven. Second on eight. Okay? You can pretend like you have a little bit of ink, like you dipped your fingers in ink or paint. Okay? Just the tips of your fingers. And you have a beautiful big canvas. Okay? White canvas. And you're going to make the most beautiful circles and lines, okay? So by the end of the combination, your canvas is just gonna be filled with beautiful lines, okay? All right, um, and then, sorry, here we go, low fifth five, first on six, high fifth seven, open a second eight. Then we're gonna come forward, so our back leg starts. One, go through your first. Two, keep pulling up. And if you want to do this in first, that's totally fine. Three, I'll show you what that looks like in a second. It just means you don't really travel, okay? Four. And then we reverse. High fifth, five. First on six. Low fifth, seven. Second on eight, okay? So you just want to make sure they really find those really clean lines every time and make a beautiful picture for your family. Okay, so we're gonna start, I think I have something in my shoe, it's making noise. Okay, so we're gonna start with our feet in fifth. Oh, I was gonna show you. If you wanna keep it in first position, that's totally fine, you're just not gonna travel. And if you don't have any space to travel, even better, okay? You just do four going to first and you're working just as hard, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna start in fifth, and we'll do it with the music. I may add stuff to it at the end, so make sure you pay attention. Turn on your ballet eyeglasses. Okay, here we go. Focus. Long legs. Preparation, six. Arms for seven, open eight. You can also put your hands on your hips if you prefer, okay? Tandu de Bain, Sa, I mean, alasakon. Two, alasakon means side, okay? Three, devant means front. So I said the wrong turn. Seven, and eight. Now let's do our porta row. Low, two, first, Three, four, high fifth. Carry the arms, shoulders down. Let your arms do the work. Breath, palms face forward. Here we go, traveling forward. Through first, two, pulling up. Pretend like you have a string. Reaching, six. Just a little bit. 
They're going to be underneath myself, so you don't have to have that much space, okay? As if you had just enough space as I do, a little square. So we're going to do two walks forward. One, pointing your feet, toe bell heel. Two, two side. Three, and four, two back. Five, notice how my standing leg, the one I'm standing on, bends as I step. And then as I step through, the leg is straight and my back leg bends. My front leg is straight when I step, but it's my back leg that bends. Okay? Don't overthink it. If you overthink it, then it will get messed up. Okay? Just walk natural. Okay? So, let's do it again. One, and two and three, so I'm passing through, through coup de pied, okay? Whoops, and then we go back five, and six, and seven, and eight, and then feet are in first. We're gonna do four sautés in first position, okay? So I'm gonna scooch over, plie one, sauté two, plie three, and four, plie five, Sauté six, plié seven, make sure your toes shoot down to the ground. Plié, sauté, plié. Just watch your head, make sure your ceiling is high enough. Six, and seven, and eight. And then we're gonna go left, okay? So we step left, and right. And to you, it might be your right leg. So just go the other direction. One, and two. Side three, and four. See, I'm even running out of room, but we do. We adapt, we're dancers, we can adapt. And seven, and eight, and then if you need to step in place, that's fine. Plie, saute, and stretch. We do that four times. Plie, saute, stretch, plie, saute, stretch, plie, saute. Okay, and then from there, we're gonna do little piques, but hops. One, hop, two, hop, three, and four, and then we're gonna try side. Side, tip of the toe, no weight on your foot, and eight. And then our challenge is to the back. Back, and two, so you can lean forward just a little bit. Make sure you're not hinged forward, but you're lying, you're on a line, straight line. Three, and four, and then same thing, side, and six, and seven, and eight. So you wanna pick up those feet, okay? So a little walk. Fancy ballet walks and some jumps in there, okay? So let me get the music. It's not gonna be super fast, okay? Here we go. From first, make sure you step back so you have enough room to go forward. Two walks forward, arms in second. We go. One, two, side, three, four, and back. Side. And we're in first. Plie. So tight. Stretch. Down. Push. Stretch. And three. Strong hands on your hips. And four. Good. Arms open. We go left. One. Four to the right. Two. change your feet, if you know what shanjma means. We'll do the last one like that. If you close to fifth, you can change your feet. Should we do four of those? Here we go. Yeah, shanjma, change. Stretch, and down, push. Usually around 
depends mm -hmm. on the level, but usually around 10. But just for fun, since we're home, okay, just make sure you have enough space. I'm gonna try to teach you how to do pirouettes, okay? Just for fun, just remember, sometimes it takes a long time in ballet to get to that point. But we'll do really simple ones, okay, from fourth position. They're my favorite, and all of my students love learning how to do pirouettes, okay? All right, so you're gonna start in fifth position. I'm gonna start with my right foot in front, okay? I think it's gonna look like your left on your side. Okay, so from here, we prepare like, prepare like we always do with every combination. We go five and a six and a seven and an eight, okay? Strong arms in second. We're gonna be using them to turn. You have to have strong arms in order to make sure the turn is successful. So you're gonna brush your tendu to the side, a la succum, sharp. You're gonna rond de jambe, circle the, of the leg. You're gonna carry it to the back, no weight on your foot. You're gonna lower toe ball heel to fourth position and the arm comes in. So the leg that you're bringing to fourth position, that same arm is going to round, okay? And come in, the other arm is still stretched out to my side. So I'm going to deepen my plie. I'm gonna make sure that I have a really, really strong spot, okay? A spot is something that you look at you glue your eyes to, and you do not change it, right? Unless for some reason later when you're older, you could change it depending on what you're doing. But if we're just facing front, you have to keep your eyes facing that spot the whole time. No changing your spot, you have to promise me. Okay, so you keep your head looking at your spot for as long as you can, showing it in slow motion until, because you're not an owl, and you can't keep your head there for any longer, you whip your head around, okay? So that's what your upper body is gonna be doing. Your legs are gonna be carrying up to your passe position to the front of your knee, okay? You can also do half turns and just face the back, okay? So your back leg comes up to the passe to the front of your knee as you turn, okay? So let's try that again without turning, plie, and passe, releve, arms come to first, and back down. Good, okay. So that's essentially what's happening as you're turning, all right? But now we're adding our spot. Okay, so plie deep, strong arms in second, deep, deep, deep. Your back leg is gonna come up and you turn towards that direction. That's called an ande or pirouette, going out the door, okay? Don't turn the other way. If you're using your right leg, you turn to the right. If you're using your left leg, you turn to the left. So same direction, okay? Okay, so here we go. Find your spot, check. Find your arms, check. Find your passe and turn, check. Here we go, one spot, don't go crazy yet. And plie and spot turn and down. Let's try that again. Plie deep, arms to second. Keep those arms in first, don't drop them. Turn and come down, good, awesome. If you're not ready for that, you can also do half turns and just face the back. Deep plie, push, and face the back, okay? You can try that and then finish your turn, okay? But that means you have two spots. So you step and face the back, step yourself, find your passe, then come down, or you do a full turn, right? And eventually you can do Doubles and triples, okay? Don't go crazy yet. Make sure you have enough space because you could knock your knee bad if you hit your coffee table or something. Okay, so let's try this one more time and then we'll go left. So let's go back to fifth. Here we go. Are you guys ready? Five and six. Let's do the music. It'll be more fun. Music makes it fun. Perfect. Here we go. Six, seven, eight. We time strong. Two. Run a jump to the back. Get ready for a turn. Really strong spot. Arms open a second. Spot turn. Stay. Oh, good. Come down. When you come down, your arms open. Okay, let's try that again. Deepen your plie. Both knees bent. Find your spot and turn. Woo! Good. 
Okay, I just did a double, but you can do singles, okay? Let's try that again, plie. And it's okay if you fall out of it, I do all the time. Woo, good! Good, and watch your shoulders. I felt like my shoulders were coming up too. So you're like, push those arms down. Don't let your fingers touch, leave their space, okay? As if you have a little egg in between, don't drop the egg. Let's go left or right if it's your side, okay? So I'm gonna use my left. Here we go. Time to stay. Rush. Round the jump to the back. Plie. My back leg comes up. I turn in that direction. Spot turn. Good. Open the arms when you finish. Let's try that again. Plie. Nice wide fourth. Good. And you can try doubles if you want, okay? I'm gonna do another single. Good. Touch. Close to fifth. And finish. Awesome job, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. So again, this can be for anyone to try. Even adult ballet students, adult beginner maybe, ages seven to 10 approximately, with some ballet experience probably. But if you want to try it, just be safe, have fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye!